Hello and welcome to all you Capricorns out there. This is your monthly horoscope for February of 2022. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, you Capricorns. Oh, oh, what a time this is for you. What a powerful, deep, intense, transformational month this is. And I invite you to take, the, you know, to... Um, Grab all the knowledge that you've been building up in your lifetime and to go to this passage and to this progress of big, huge transformation so that at the beginning of March, the end of February already, that you can start off fresh. Like it's a rebirth. I know we astrologers talk a lot about rebirth, transformation, especially when Pluto is around, especially when the nodes are around. But this time, it's the last month. It has been building up since the end of November. And this time, in February, is the grand finale. Because all, not all of them, but a lot of personal planets are touching Pluto. So all Capricorns will feel it. The ones who have a birthday on the 13th and onwards will feel it the most. They will feel it very strongly. You know, if you have like planets around 23, 24, up until 29 degrees of Capricorn, you will feel this uh, a lot. There is, um, you know, hold on, hold on. You're almost there. It's the last pieces, you know, when you feel that it demands a lot from you. There is a reason. And to be uh, very aware is key. And this is all about you. This is all happening in your first house. Yes, I can talk about Jupiter and Pisces. That is in your third house. This is nice. And, and it's about... Uh, finding meaning in communication or in learning or in siblings or in, in a bit of the, the in a context that you have in your environment, but that's peanuts. Now it is too important. It's shedding off a skin and it's all of those um, uh, expressions, right? Of the transformation. You have an opportunity at the end of the month to act upon all the, to act after all the work that you've been doing. Uh, lately the last couple of months and what the the outcome is don't don't attach yourself to it you know that's that's the thing about of course Capricorn they they are quite you know don't don't shoot the messengers but they love to have the control and there's nothing wrong with it you know they they like structure they they like to have security um, but when you feel that things are slipping away from you let it go if you feel that things are really in the face, don't go, don't, don't run away too fast. You know, stand in your power is the best way to handle this. And um, Mercury, the planet of communication, is direct around the 5th um, of, the, of February. So you're going to have deep thinking of um, even a bit, a little bit more, a little bit more obsessive could be around how you present yourself, but it's necessary. It's that process of shedding off that skin and going deep within to put, um, you could say, a very big spot on your shadow. This is all about shadow work. This is all about seeing it, and you're gonna see it, but don't run away for, from it. You know, see it. Put light on it and when you put light on it it's not all that bad and the, then the transformation begins and then of course your relationships are gonna are gonna change they're gonna be more authentic they're gonna be more um, healthy you know so it's a lot about purifying do some baths do some having some you know everything that has to do with purification do that you know also the body uh, do some yoga do some what gives you some sort of a refreshment because you can only help the body and the mind they work together right so um and it's not only the mind at so that is going together with pluto but also venus it's direct for the whole month but at the the last week of the month it's again for the last time the third time uh, meeting up with pluto so your structure it's your structure your foundations the way you handle power uh, the way you deal with power, the 50-50, the not being tempted by manipulation, not being tempted by abuse and not and certain you, you're not gonna, you know, if people will try to manipulate you, 
it's not gonna happen anymore and that's gonna happen because Pluto is with you but that's gonna have consequences some relationships might go others might stay and you can come in but you don't decide that let the universe decide that but you do the work you do the inner work a lot of inner work the more you're gonna do that when Mars is in your sign and meeting up at the end of the month with Pluto I mean Venus and Mars together with Pluto that's powerful passionate you're going to be so you have an opportunity to be so magnetic so um, strong and you don't have to do anything for it because you are you are it I can't, I'm going to stop with that because that's that's so beautiful you are it you are the price that's what I want to say have a very good month and see you next month. Bye-bye.